Konichiwa, it's Mayor Hawthorne. And Jay Kuna. We are Tuxedo. On Block FM. Sakoi. Second time around. Hey, second time around. Second time around. Hey, second time around. Oh, second time around. さあここからはタクシードを来日したということでブロック FM のスタジオにお越しいただきました。Thank you for coming。というわけで早速いろんな質問をしていきたいと思います。So the first question is、uh, Could you both explain your musical background? And、uh, do you feel like you guys went back your roots for the second Tuxedo project? So we met、um, around 10 years ago through Hip hop. We were both big fans of hip hop, like Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Nate Dogg. We were both big fans of Nate Dogg. We both really had a like a love for funk records, also. So we just started making them for fun, just so that we could drive around and listen in our car. And then,、uh, yeah, we decided once after we had like you know 20 songs or something, we said maybe we should make it a real group. and Yeah, and then for the second album, I don't know, you want to talk about that? Yeah, for the second album, I think we, we just tried to improve upon what we did on the first album. That was kind of the idea in general because Tuxedo is something that is like we do for that particular project, whereas we have lots of other solo things and we're kind of exploring other sounds. So it'd be kind of weird to do the next Tuxedo album in a totally different fashion, you know? Like that would have been strange. So. We kind of just try to improve upon things. And, you know, there's vibes that we got into a little more probably for this one.、Um, yeah, that was, that was really the goal. Was, the first album was such a surprise success for us that we just figured we'd keep it going the same way. <laughs> Hopefully. You two have a hip hop producing l o o t s And they're also making 80s boogie sounds. So, what parts of those music were you、uh, fascinated by? I mean, for me, with the,、uh, with the boogie stuff and the G Funk stuff, I think it's, it's a rare style of music that makes you feel happy, but it's not soft, where it's not cheesy. And there's a really fine line, you know, as far as doing that with music, you know, because you think of like Kenny G, it's like, you know, it's pretty soft. And, and we kind of have like a little,、uh, little slogan we, we stick with when we're making Tuxedo, and it's, you know, keep it G and not Kenny G. So <laughs> that was kind of what we're doing. As far as the sounds, I think、um, a lot of the boogie records, what I love about them is just their, the use of the vintage scents.、Um, and that's why I study when I listen to that stuff. Like, oh, is this the memory moog?、Um, is this the profit? Is this, you know, whatever else? Yeah. <laughs> The, yeah, the, we, we, that's, that's a big part of our sound, is using the original sounds too.、Yeah. Keep it G, don't go Kenny G. <laughs> <laughs> On top of keeping that nostalgic tuxedo sound, what are other important elements that are important to you? I think really the thing on the new album that we did a lot better was the songwriting. And the arrangement s of the songs. And Tuxedo is really purely about having fun. And it's kind of, you know, there's a lot of really crazy things going on in America right now and in the rest of the world. And it's kind of turbulent times right now. And I think in those times, people need an escape more than ever. It's, it's,、um, it's nice to have something to. Just listen to where you don't have to think that much and you just can have fun for a while. Yeah, I think, I think in general,、um, yeah, it's, it's really just supposed to make you feel good in the, in the broad sense and make you dance. So, like, there's a lot of obviously a lot of bad things going on right now, especially with American, America's political climate. It's pretty scary. And,、uh, you know, it's just something to take your mind off it. Right. Dancing is important too. Tuxedo is all about dancing. Shout out to all the dance crews that are dancing to Tuxedo. We love you guys. Any favorite Japanese producers or DJs? Shout out King of Diggin', DJ Muro.、Oh. He's, a big, he's a big friend of ours. I just saw a video of a, a DJ out here, DJ Coco, who was DJing on 45s. I thought he was pretty amazing, too. Okay, so could you share with me a few of your favorite artist songs and、uh, genres right now? 
Uh, I'm a big fan of a guy named Gabriel Garzon Montano. It's a really difficult name, but the music is really good. It just came out on Stone's Throw Records. His album is great. Check it out. Um, you know, I think in general with a lot of a lot of producers and artists, we always seem to be into things that we can't necessarily do. It's not what we do. Um, so I've really been listening a lot to the 21 Savage album. That's like what I'm into right now. Um, so yeah, that, uh, future. future, we actually, we actually worked on a future song together on the Hendrix album. Um, Mare's vocals are on there <laughs> for those that, for those that don't know. Um, and, uh, I like the Thundercat album a lot too. So yeah, those are my current favorites. Thundercat's dope. We've been listening to the Kendrick Lamar, the new one a lot on this tour. Yeah. <laughs> so in Japan, we have a Lake Oda Star Day in April, as you you know that and a big legal movement so what are your thoughts on the legal culture in japan japan is first of all the japanese people are just the greatest collectors of th of anything so of course when it comes to records they're the best collectors of that i mean we basically every time we come to japan we are on a reclamation mission to come over and buy all all of our American records back and we take them back to America and then you guys come over and buy them and bring them back to Japan. Yeah, I mean the the uh just the stuff that's in the stores out here is it's just a totally different level of anything anywhere in the world. I mean, we've we literally travel the world and look for records and Japan smashes everything. It's not even it's not there is no competition. So that's, you know, basically when we come here, we know we're going to, you know, play some shows and it's going to be fun and people are going to be really into it and we're going to spend all of our money on records. <laughs> all the money that we make in Japan, we always just, stays it stays in Japan because we buy all records and that's it. Okay, so... というわけでお届けしましたブロック FM スタジオからタクシーのインタビューでした。改めてお二人にありがとうございます。Thank you for coming. Anything. Anywhere in the world, I mean, we've we literally travel the world and look for records, and Japan smashes everything. It's not even, it's not, there is no competition. So that's you know, basically when we come here, we know we're gonna you know play some shows and it's gonna be fun and people are gonna be really into it and we're gonna spend all of our money on records. <laughs> all the money that we make in Japan, we always just it stays in Japan because we buy all records and that's it. Okay, so. というわけでお届けしましたブロック FM スタジオからタクシーのインタビューでした改めてお二人にありがとうございます Thank you for coming